Hello Cancerians, welcome in, welcome back to your reading. I am sending you so much love and light today. This is the tower. Tower energy is showing for this reading. The tower, it's about, it's about the unexpected. It's about changes, the unexpected. We have the wheel of fortune. This is good. I've been seeing the wheel of fortune in the readings for you guys with this tower. The tower is about a life change. It kind of took me a second there. You may be surprised here by just channel invitation. It may just be an invitation here from the universe to start a new cycle. Okay, can we say that? You may be very surprised here soon. The Wheel of Fortune was at the bottom of the deck and I have it with the Six of Pentacles. So this is about you receiving now. Could be finances, could be, could be monetary. Pentacles are tangible. The tower is number 16, which is a seven with the wheel of fortune is a 10. This is a new cycle that some of you are going to begin here. I've been speaking about the hands, um, which I have been seeing in the reading. So it's a time now to receive. There's a, it's a time now for you to receive. It's a time to give and receive. This tower, this tower energy, I keep looking at this tower because it feels to me like feels to me like a breakthrough, an epiphany. Somebody could be going in right now, gaining awareness about about a truth or what is important to them. Because I'm seeing Virgo with the Hermit, yeah, Ten of Cups. What the truth about what's important, what makes them happy, or somebody that somebody's in realization with this tower energy. It's about an epiphany. It's a breakthrough, a sudden breakthrough. There's also sudden sudden destiny at play here a predestined fated event that is meant for you that is meant for you a lot of you have been in isolation i was going to say um solitude which is the same thing something here is happening for you i have the ten of cups here virgo energy we have the this mars which is could be aries scorpio as well taurus Aquarius, Leo, and Scorpio. Yeah, I think I mentioned the, those signs. Scorpio, the Ten of Cups here is happy, happiness, happy life, okay, a happy home. All your cups being filled, fulfillment of wishes. I feel like there's a Cancerian who has been in solitude um, that also showed in the reading. The most recent reading that I did for you guys, this tower is something here unexpected. Make sure you, you may not be expecting this, but I feel like it's lucky. It has something to do with your finances and your stability. Okay, my dog just confirmed. Okay, confirmed again. Are you okay? So, give me an energy for this reading. Tower, Wheel of Fortune. You're going to feel ecstatic here. Patient, something you've been patient about or <clears throat> things unfolding. There it is in divine timing. I was looking at this Wheel of Fortune when I was shuffling. Because you stood true to, to your integrity. I just got chills, so confirmation. Integrity and self-care, that is the hurt. That, that I feel like that this hermit energy could be you. Some of you have Virgo in your chart. Does the situation align with your values and morals? If you, I, I, I'm pretty sure, almost positive, that I spoke about this integrity. It, it was a message that I channeled when I did the last reading. And it was actually something that I was channeling, looking at the justice card. You know, the justice is about cause and effect. It could be, it could speak also about karmic, karmic cycles. There's also a life lesson, a huge life lesson here that someone here has learned, valuable, valuable lesson about their integrity, their integrity and their, their morals, self-care, clearing out your energy field and focusing on yourself. That is what somebody here is doing, whether this is you or someone else, because I see someone here in solitude. We have patience and integrity, soulmate. This is a soulmate who I'm speaking about. This person here loves, accepts, and respects you because of you, because of your integrity. You showed, you showed us the Empress in yesterday's reading. Don't tell me now. 444 on the timing. Sometimes the timing, as you guys watch the readings, is not the same because I add that intro, the Maluna Tarot intro, so it's not the same. But for me, okay, when I'm recording, I see I see those number synchronicities. Self-care and soulmate. 
in isolation or in solitude okay it doesn't have to be doesn't have to be isolation speaking of which let me get an overall energy before we start clarifying this wheel of fortune is lucky is jupiter energy jupiter is in gemini at this time we are in gemini season i will do that gemini reading i just don't like to do things when, when i feel like I'm, I'm obligated to <laughs> i just don't okay i like to do things naturally going with the flow something about what i just said here Somebody doesn't doesn't want to be forced, doesn't feel like being forced to to be to be confined. Confined. There's a need now to stand stand true to your integrity. Things are going are unfolding. I'm not gonna say are going to. No, things are unfolding like in the present right now with this wheel of fortune. In divine timing. Nine of Cups. I was almost, I almost did not want to see what was under the Ten of Cups because the energy here was complementing the message that I'm channeling. But look at this, Nine of Cups. A lot of you, and I just got chills again, Cancer, this is confirmation. A lot of you are going from single. This is why I keep channeling that energy of solitude, isolation. Doesn't mean that you are, I feel like you're happily single. Can we say that, Nine of Cups? You're going from a singular energy here, singular energy here into a union four of wands is here with the ten of cups i saw reconciliation in yesterday's reading i'm channeling so strongly for for you for this message nine of cups and the ten of cups this is you going to towards something that's fulfilling okay but it's a union also with a soulmate a twin flame four of wands is here it could also be something to do with your home okay I do see a union when I see the four of wands typically, but it could also it could also speak about a home situation. Very happy home dynamic that you feel like some of you are getting money or something monetary that is coming in that you're going to be receiving, and it's happening here unexpected. You may win the lotto. You may you may have an unexpected unexpected inflow of income that you were not expecting, something like that. And I feel like this is more so because it's karmic, meaning you deserve this payout, something like that, it's been owed to you. Um, because you've stood true to your integrity, because you've decided to clear your energy field and stay by yourself. Some of you have had to stay, stay in, <laughs> inside your home or, I'm not laughing, I just, I just, I don't need to explain myself. I just feel like, um, yeah, I don't need to explain myself. I know what I'm channeling here. So someone left a comment about why, why is that funny? I just, I, I don't know why I just happened. I just, I just laughed. So let's, let's get one energy, one more energy for this message. You don't need to explain yourself to people. Okay. I'm also going to channel that message. Totality. It's a five. So being in between trying to reach a goal here, somebody here feels like they're being pulled by two things going with the flow. I saw, I side channel this going with the flow. I said that these exact, these exact words going with somebody doesn't want to be confined to another situation. They feel like something here is pulling them back. The five symbolize changes in the tarot. This is a person that feels like they need to do too many things at once. Okay. Look at the wheel of fortune here showing change aloneness. So you're not going to be alone for very long, okay? If you've been in, in this solitude energy, you're coming out of this hermit mode. That is what I want to say. This aloneness, which is the hermit. This is a nine. See, you're going from nine to ten. What is that noise outside? What? <laughs> I can't do anything about that. Okay, I may have to pause the reading. Aloneness. So you're going, you're, you're, this is all changing for you. This is all changing. I don't know what that interruption was. I'm gonna leave this here because this is something that I channeled. There's something that you have been feeling like you um, have either have either been giving too much to something else, and you you feel like you're being pulled pulled by too many different directions, or something here keeps calling your attention back for you or somebody else. There's something here with destiny, Destin, destiny. There might've been an interruption, a sudden sudden interruption. We have aloneness in this wheel of fortune. Let's clarify, Cancer. I have understanding at the bottom of the deck. That kind of took me, threw me off a little bit, that noise outside. There's distractions. Someone may feel distracted. Let's clarify this wheel of fortune. But everything happens for a reason, right? 
It says here, everything will unfold in divine timing. Don't tell me no. I just picked up this deck. I don't even know if I was going to. I wasn't sure if I was going to use this deck. There's a soulmate connection that you're coming in. I've been channeling this message about a union. I know you guys say that it's repetitive. You know, it's the same thing. Well, you know, it, it doesn't have to resonate with you. It may resonate for somebody else. There's something you've been patient with. What is this wheel of fortune? You've been patient with something here, maybe a person. But this manifestation is coming at you very quickly. Eight of Wands could be with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or this could be you, this, this King of Cups. The world is a victory for you. Could be an energy here also traveling to you. It's an accomplishment that you are attaining. Money. I feel like there's money here coming in for you. There's happiness, there's joy. The 10, the Wheel of Fortune is a 10. This Wheel of Fortune has to do with money. Okay, finances. We have the Ten of Cups, the two best tens in the tarot. The sun energy could happen around Leo. I've been channeling this message around Leo season. There's a truth about competition here, and that was also in the last message I did for you. Five of Wands and the Ace of Swords. Okay, somebody here is answering a calling or coming forward here with communication. This person may, because um, I said understanding. There's an understanding. This is a Leo. This could be a Leo. I'm seeing Leo energy. So there's an understanding that somebody here wants to have with you, meaning a conversation, come into some sort of understanding. Something here did not align with your truth, with somebody's integrity. That is, that is what I'm seeing. I feel like there's somebody here reevaluating the situation. This is an internal, I think I also channel internal, internal turmoil could be for somebody. Yeah, five of wands and the ace of swords doesn't necessarily have to be other people. But this could be an internal turmoil for somebody. I feel like there's somebody here that, that, that is seeking the truth, that has been patient here with this situation, reevaluating whether the, whether or not this aligns with their, with their values, their integrity. This is a soulmate, four of wands. Oh my God, the queen of wands with the six of cups and the four, <laughs> the four of pentacles. There's somebody here that... It's holding on to a connection from the past. Okay, Four of Pentacles and the Six of Cups. There's a Queen of Wands here, Fire Sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Who is the third party? Who is the third party? Three of Swords. There's disappointment and heartache here with this Three of Swords. There's a person who's guarding themselves. There's somebody here thinking about a soulmate, past life soulmate, who's thinking about returning back. But they, they could be holding back because of a third party. Does that even make sense? That makes sense to me. Nine of Wands. See, this does not align with your integrity and, and morals. And then I feel like I feel like cancer. Um, it's I feel like you're receiving a reward. It's almost what I want to say with this chariot because it's your card, major arcana for cancer. And the world is something here about an accomplishment that you are attaining, a victory, because you have stood true to your I feel like a broken record, but I'm gonna to continue to say this. Leo energy, the strength card. Something here that you have attained. You have reclaimed your power back. Can we say that with the strength card? There's a third person here who's seen this. You know, this doesn't have to be necessarily a third party, but this this is a fire sign who's seen somebody here returning back to a soulmate because they still have passion and this is heartbreaking for this person to a high priestess, which is you. The high priestess and the chariot is you, Cancer. We have Leo energy. I knew I knew this King of Pentacles was going to show. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Three of Pentacles. There it is. This person here is manifesting a new beginning with you, and it is a wish fulfillment. Aquarius. This is implementing here the resources to manifest, to create with the magician, Virgo, Gemini. This could happen around Gemini season. I feel like there's a wish fulfillment, something you've wanted here with a star card. This is this feels to me like a reward. Okay, a gift, a gift. The six of pentacles, something here tangible that is being presented to you. This other fire sign knows that there's a connection here, very strong soulmate connection between you and somebody else. This fire sign is a third party. I don't know why it's showing in the reading, but this could be the this could be what's changing. Okay, spirit is saying to have patience because everything will unfold in, in divine timing for you. I do see you here coming into union. Four of Wands, the Ten of Cups, and the Nine of Cups. 
and you're gonna feel static about this. Um, this may be someone new or this may be someone new. I feel like somebody here has been in isolation. This could have been, this could be you, Cancer. You're coming out of this um, cycle. Yeah, you're coming out of this cycle towards a new cycle. Cycle of abundance, stability. Didn't I say something about stability with this Wheel of Fortune? I think I saw it. Sure enough, Ten of Pentacles clarifying the Wheel of Fortune. Something here you're in a kind of a goal that you're, you, you've been trying to reach. You're going to be able to accomplish this. The world is here. This is beautiful energy. The sun, the sun is about a new life cycle. It's about a rebirth. Scorpio energy with this death energy. It's about a rebirth. The sun, the sun is in the death, the death energy. If you look closely, the sun is here. Something you feel, I keep channeling that energy. It, it, it's something that the universe knows that you have been patient. Get ready to receive now. Your ship's coming in, three of wands. Well, somebody is coming in, king of swords with the knight of wands. Somebody's coming in with communication, the truth. About how they were a player, just <laughs> So we have the three of wands, this king of swords, which... I've been seeing this energy in your readings, uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Knight of Wands, Seven of Wands. You may be, you may need to stand firm here, or may, you may have this person here blocked, or this energy may be overcoming an obstacle, or standing firm on a decision they've made. Three of Wands is your ships coming in. So this is about, this is somebody here coming towards you with a lot of passion, communicating. Seven of Wands. This person might have had to overcome or push a few people away, and there's that Wheel of Fortune. So something predestined something that's destined that you don't see coming you may not see this coming to a swords you don't see this message and this emotional confession coming towards you from this could be a fire sign could be a libra also aries leo sagittarius and there it is there's this justice with this empress this was in you i keep re referencing the reading that i the most recent reading that i did for you guys because i feel like this ties to every every reading that i do ties to each other the readings are also timeless but i don't know why i feel the need to con like i feel like I'm, I'm doing this reading and i'm explaining this person here there's a person that has the need here to to explain there's an explanation being given to you you may not feel like you need it <laughs> so because i continue to feel like i need to say something like i need to explain why um why I'm doing things the way I'm doing things, which I don't need to. This is past life soulmate, six of cups with the page of pentacles. I've learned a lesson. That is what I channel. Yeah, I've learned a lesson. The judgment. Judgment is the past. Judgment could also speak about forgiveness. I just channel reconciliation. There's something here that this person here is communicating to you. Page of pentacles, this is a message. This is a message. I'm, I keep seeing that King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn fighting, Five of Wands, and it could be their own inner struggle, or they, 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 there could be fights here, conflicts with other people, because that is the Tower. The Tower is about upheavals, unexpected uh, turmoil. Okay, Six of Swords. I'm moving on from this. I've gotten the truth. I've, I see the path forward. Ace, Six of Swords with the Ace of Swords. I see the path forward. I'm also channeling a person that wants to invest here for, for the long term, okay? Long term. Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups. See, I see somebody here wanting to invest in a commitment with you or something much more serious. Seven of Pentacles and the Hierophant could be a Taurus. I was going to say Capricorn or Aquarius. I almost took my I almost took it. Well, this almost took my breath away. Maybe I did myself. I did that myself. But the star energy... It's something here that's coming your way. Look, it might have taken a very long time, Knight of Pentacles, but it is a wish fulfillment. And Jupiter is about luck and expansion. There could be a, a proposal here made to you. Because it is a rebirth. And somebody here has a truth. The Ace of Swords, Six of Five, Five of Cups. This person here has the truth about the past, okay? Somebody who looks at the past. Could have been in a third-party situation. The Two of Cups still behind this energy. 
as somebody that has been thinking a lot about the past, six of cups, five of cups, they watching you, watching you. Um, we have a person who is um, turning their back with a lot of disappointment on other people. Okay, this person here watches you and see in silence. They, they, meaning you're not in communication. I don't feel like you, you're in communication with this energy. This person could be going through some sort of ending, strong ending, metamorphosis, transformation. But then again, this, this death energy is a rebirth. It could be a rebirth of this person. Now, the judgment is about things being resurrected. I'm speaking about rebirth, a very strong Scorpio energy. Page of Swords, the Eight of Cups, Seven of Cups. Yeah, walking away. Leaving things in the past that have been disappointing. What is this Ace of Swords? This communication is from somebody you know. Two of Pentacles that feels imbalanced. I feel like this person has gone back and forth on, on what, what they're going to say to you because they, they feel ashamed about the past. Seven of Swords, yeah, they do feel ashamed, yeah. They feel ashamed, could be a Pisces. You've detached from this energy intuitively. I feel like this did not align again. Something here did not align with your morals and integrity. For you or, the, or somebody, for this person. I feel like somebody here has seen something now for what it is. Seven of Swords, meaning a lie or a cheater. Someone here could have been juggling you and something else or could have been juggling too many things. Seven of Swords, this person feels like they cheated themselves. This is an awakening with this hangman means seeing things, seeing a lie or seeing a deception from the past that they, they I feel like it's this, this energy. This energy is now uh, being feeling forced to take a moment to be by themselves. The hangman is about sacrifice it is about sacrifice five of wands someone left you out in the cold or abandoned a connection with you i feel like this person this person um feels the need to explain something to you there's a need now to explain who is this energy for cancer who is this energy for cancer this energy feels a need to say something i almost want to clarify what to clarify here a gift a gift look at this we have the six of pentacles i've been channeling um a gift being pre presented to you meaning tangible could be it could be this wheel of fortune the universe is presenting you with a gift didn't i don't know if i said that you know i say things sometimes and then i forget because i channeled channel energies and then i don't know what else i don't know what else to clarify here i think i'm just going to leave the reading here i think it's very short but <laughs> give me one more energy um for this hold on a second cancer i don't know what to get here someone feels very scattered or confused give me one more energy self-care is important right now Getting past conflict, spiritual awakening, and inner shift. Now, this, this energy showed in the reverse. Kind of like this hangman. Somebody here is transcending, meaning awakening, because I did, I did channel that. It's interesting how this says inner shift, and I talked about an inner tr turmoil. Inner tur turmoil. Spiritual awakening. Look, it's the past. It's a past energy going through a spiritual awakening. This person has been denying this spiritual awakening. That is why this card is showing in the reverse. Had they had, somebody here has been has been denying. It says you're getting past conflict and we have past suffering. So affecting the present. The past affecting the present. Not allowing, not allowing themselves to go to go in. I feel like they're being forced to do so now. There's a person here who's receiving karma for something that they did in the past. There's a gift now coming to, to you because it's something that you have or you've earned it. This is this is rightfully yours. It's something that's because of good karma, something you've done. And it's been showing. I feel like this is in the form of a an offer. Venus energy. We began the reading yesterday. I don't know why I'm referencing so much the last reading that I did. 
Um, if you didn't watch that reading, you can go and watch it. But it just, the, the Empress is, was the first card that we began the reading with, which is Venus energy. That is why I'm referencing the reading. Beauty, harmony, wealth. That is Venus. Luxury and offer, attraction, romance. Look in the Ace of Cups. This is the, look, get ready to receive. Don't tell me no, Cancer. Look at the hands. Get ready to receive. You've been in isolation, separation, feeling lost or abandoned. Or maybe you thought that something here didn't work for you in the form of finances or even, even with a love, within a love connection. This is the Six of Pentacles. This is the Six of Pentacles. It's a time now to receive. I'm going to read this. Assistance, Six of Pentacles. generosity a gift look this is a gift it's a gift that's coming to you the ace of cups is new love it's there's an offer here renewal in love compassion emotions there's emotions being expressed somebody here from your past that has been denying denying this truth someone i mean there were two i feel like there's somebody that might might have been afraid might have been afraid to 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 admit this to themselves now they're being forced to this is somebody that has been afraid to admit that they have feel they have feelings for you, and now they're now they're in realization of this. I have July here, which some of you that that could be your birthday. So something here is happening, you know, this sun energy, and I've been channeling Leo season. So so it could be around Leo season because Leo is at end of July. End of July. That's interesting. Give me one more energy for this reading for Cancer. I wanted to make the reading a little longer. Oh, what is the... I, I, I didn't know this was here. I didn't know this was here. This has been a journey here for somebody. Okay, a long journey that is either physical or mental. That is leaving somebody here wiser. That is the Ace of Swords at the end. Okay, I don't know what the end is, but it's the end of something. We have the Death Energy. What is this card? There's somebody here keeping tabs on you. This person here is watching, spying, I should say. Somebody has their eye on you. This Somebody could be envious of you as well. Okay, I'm just going to say that. Period of prosperity and abundance, Cancer. Okay, that, that's, why, that's why somebody's going to be watching you. Because it does say envy here, keeping tabs. There's a period of prosperity and there's a there's a birth here. You know, the, the Empress is in a, and it's an energy of abundance. Okay, that was in you. That is why I keep referencing the reading that I did because this gift here feels like monetary. It feels like an offer being presented. You may meet somebody here, um, a new person here that's very, that's wealthy. I don't know where I'm getting them, but it just, that may happen for you. A period of abundance. See, we have good fortune, the beetle, goldfish, increase in material wealth or spiritual growth. Okay, so I'm going to leave the reading here. Good fortune here, a period of prosperity. This is the wheel of fortunes twice in the reading. So this could happen around July. It has been a long journey for you. Okay, it has been. It has been, but you are wiser. You are wiser now. Increase in material wealth and spiritual growth. So somebody from your past here is transcending because they have been resistant here to see something or maybe just admit the fact that they have feelings for you and they're watching you. This person here is watching you. Get ready, Cancer. Something here about July. The sun in this timing energy feels to me like, well, that is next month. So not, not too far away, right? So I love you guys. I'm sending you all so much love and light. Let me know if this reading resonated with you, Cancer. Please like the video if it resonated. It does help the channel. Sending you all so much love and light. Until next reading, namaste.